Over 1 million nursing students trust Simple Nursing to help them pass nursing school and the NCLEX. So head over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube to join them in their success. Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, I wanna to introduce to you the skeletal system. Now the skeletal system is a collection of 206 bones, at least in the adult, that play really important roles when it comes to protection, storage, and support. Now, how do bones play all these important roles? Well, when it comes to protection, for example, it protects underlying structures or organs. When it comes to support, it's gonna be supporting the weight of the body and also the muscles that are attached to it to allow for us to move. And it plays an important role for storage because it's storing important minerals like calcium and phosphate. So when we look at the skeletal system, you can divide it into a number of different ways and you can categorize the bones a number of different ways as well. So I'm gonna show you these different ways of categorizing bones. First way is dividing the skeletal system into what we call the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. So I've drawn up my little skeleton here and you can see I've highlighted different colors. All those bones in black are the axial skeleton. It's basically going to be the skull, the rib cage, the sternum, and the vertebral column. And the appendicular skeleton is everything else, basically everything that holds and moves the limbs, or the limbs themselves, I should say. So if we want to be more specific, 206 bones for this whole skeleton, how many bones in the axial skeleton? Well, what we can do is we can say that if the axial skeleton is made up of the skull and made up of the hyoid, made up of the vertebrae, made up of something called, when we look at it, it's called the ossicles of the middle ear. Ossicles of the middle ear. It's made up of the sternum and rib cage. Now how many bones associated with each of these? When we look at the skull, there's 22 bones. The hyoid, one bone. The vertebrae, 26 bones. The ossicles, six bones. The sternum, one bone. And the rib cage, we have 24 bones. Now if you were to add them up, what you're hopefully gonna find is that this equals to 80 bones. 80 bones of the axial skeleton. So that leaves us 126 bones for the appendicular skeleton. So what bones are part of the appendicular skeleton? Well, it's basically, basically going to be the shoulder girdle. Thanks for watching today's video. Remember to type simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube into your search bar and join well over 1 million students hacking their nursing school system.